What's up, ballers? It's Bobby Buckets back with another episode of NBA Live Mobile, and in today's episode, we're going to be checking out some gameplay with our new out-of-position LeBron James. He actually has better stats in every single category than Biggie, <laughs> Boogie Cousins, uh, which isn't really that surprising since most of the stats are geared mainly towards guards and small forwards, so speed, three-pointer, Really, everything but defense is really geared toward what a guard would have. So it's understandable that LeBron has better stats, but I'm looking forward to some gameplay with him. Uh, having a small forward at our center spot should really change our gameplay a lot. It's going to turn it into more of a transition game and make it a lot uh, quicker pace, so I'm excited about this. So we're going to go ahead and jump in with our defensive lineup. Still a 91, even though we dropped two overall on the center position. So, might actually keep him for a little while. At least if I'm... Oh, I just totally wasn't paying attention on that jump ball. Um, come on, let's get a steal. Oh, all right. He spins us off. Let's see. Come on. Get a steal. Get a steal. Come on. Come on. Come on, Russell. Take the ball. Okay, Chris Paul, just either dribble the basketball or... Oh, my gosh. All right, so he dunks on us right there. Let's see. I wish LeBron wasn't passing the ball in because that would make it a lot easier to get buckets with him. Spin move. Spin move to the basket. Come on, LeBron. All right. So a weird looking layup, but we still made it. Uh, I thought he was going to have a little bit of an easier time getting to the basket since he's going to have a lot more speed than whoever's guarding him. Uh, and I'm realizing now why I can't steal the ball. This is a 92 Chris Paul, so he's going to have really good handles. Oh, there we... Oh, I thought he was going to dunk it again. He does a little a little hook shot, so he's playing kind of like a center right now. Hopefully, we can get him out on the fast break. Maybe get some alley-oops to him. We're playing pretty slow pace right now. Oh, I thought we had that steal. And he should miss that. There we go. All right, Vince. Get out and run, LeBron. Oh, go to the basket. Oh, is he going? Nope. All right. We'll, uh, we'll have to get there on our own. All right, spin move. Oh. Come on, dunk it. There we go. All right, first dunk of the game. Pretty average dunk, usually what you expect of players whenever they do a spin move to the basket. So nothing great yet. Come on, let's... Oh, there we... Oh, I really hate how the power forward slash center always automatically runs out to the uh, perimeter whenever you get that... Oh, here we go. There we go. That was a nice dunk. Taken off from the uh, edge of the circle. Uh, but for some reason, every time I get a steal... Their small forward or center automatically runs out to the perimeter and picks up the ball before I can. Uh, not sure why it's doing that. I'm sure it's some sort of uh, way that the AI is coded, so hopefully they'll change that in the future. Oh, all right, Vince gets it. Oh, go to the basket, LeBron. Mm, LeBron, what are you doing? Why are you just chilling out there? We'll take a mid-range with him. That should be easy money. All right, so he's got 10 points. Uh, I don't think he's missed any shots yet, so we're looking pretty good so far. Might be able to get one more steal before the end of the quarter. Come on, Russell, take the ball. Ah, that was terrible. All right, so obviously he's going to make that one. Uh, and we're not going to have time to get it to LeBron, but we will take that pull-up jumper and knock it down. So we still win that quarter by eight pretty good. We almost get our max amount of fans. That happens whenever we win by ten or more. So that's actually pretty good considering we're going to our center position the entire time. I like this card so much because I'm usually really, really terrible at playing with centers. So this actually helps me a lot. And we get a stamina refill, which I actually didn't need right now. Could have come at a lot better time, but that's all right. We go against the shooting lineup because typically they are the weakest in the post since they play a five-out set, at least on offense. So Bill Lambeer is pretty good, but other than that, they don't have a whole lot of strength. Can we get an alley-oop right off the bat? Oh, okay, I'm pressing the alley-oop button and nothing's happening. Come on, get to LeBron. There we go. Spin move, or not. Spin move, come on. Come on, LeBron. Or dribble move. There we go. There we go. That's the dunk we're looking for. All right, still haven't gotten any alley-oops to him yet. For some reason, he doesn't want to roll to the basket. He just kind of wants to chill out on the perimeter. Oh, take that ball from Curry. Oh, my, yes, there we go. That's what we needed. Dang it, LeBron, you're all the way in the back. Oh, cut to the basket. Dang it, why is he just standing still? Spin move. Oh, yes, that was a beautiful move. Oh, my gosh. 
He just absolutely crossed them up and went straight to the basket. All right, that was definitely the best move we've had so far. I really like this out of position, LeBron. I'm really hoping they make more out of position uh, power forwards and centers. I know they have an out of position. I believe it's Magic Johnson at power forward. For some reason, they've made a lot of cards for him. Uh, he definitely has more cards than any other legend. So I know he has, he had a Harvest card, he has an Out of Position card, I believe he has a Pack Legend card as well. So for some reason they're going really heavy on the Magic Johnson cards, but I really don't mind because I'm pretty sure he's at Power Forward and that's, uh, depending on what lineup that is, I might actually try to pick that one up too. Hopefully we can get like a full Out of Position team because that would be really fun to play with. I know they have the Out of Position Shaq, but he's like a 72 which is really just not going to be fun to play with, especially considering how hard it is to dribble with like a regular center. Trying to dribble with Shaq would be impossible. So we get to the basket really easy there. Gameplay is really solid. He's not missing shots. Uh, he's making most of those jumpers that centers would normally miss, and he's still physical enough that he can defend centers uh, on the inside. So we just give him a little spin move. Oh, there we go. And he can do so many dribble moves that you can never do with a center. That's the one thing that I hate about playing with centers is that they always get the ball, ball stolen every time you try to dribble. And, oh, that should have been a block. The thing about LeBron is he's not going to get the ball stolen because his dribbling rating is high enough. So I'm really liking this card. If you guys have tried it out, let me know what you think. But that's going to be about it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you did. And I will see you guys next time.